What's going on everybody? It's your boy JG from JG Tech Vlog. For today's video, I'm going to be doing the good and bad phones from Metro PCS. This is my third version that I've done and they keep changing phones so I keep doing the new update. Alright, so without further ado, I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm going to be talking about the mid-range phones and the low-end phones that they have. The high-end phones, for example, that they have is the Galaxy S6 and this is going, if I'm not missing, for about $650. So, I'm going to put this aside. Uh, if you guys want, I have a video specific for this on its own um, in my in the description link below. You can click on it and go to that video. All right. I'm going to be talking about the LG G Stylo, which is going for $150. The Z Max. The Galaxy Grand Prime, which is brand new, just came out yesterday. The HTC Desire 626. The white color and the purple color that they have right here. The LG Optimus F60, they've actually uh, stopped, uh, discontinued those. They've actually brought instead of it the LG Leon. So I'll be speaking about this right here for $29.99. They have the ZTE Obsidian, which is the low end phone and the cheapest Metro has for $19. They have the Hydro Lamp. They actually discontinued that and they got this right here, which is the Hydro Wave. Uh, pretty cool phone, waterproof. And it's going, if I'm not mistaken, for $39.99. And the Samsung Galaxy Core Prime, which is going for $49.99. And last but not least, which is the basic phone, the LG 450 uh, for $29. But I'm not even going to talk about that one as well. I mean, that's the only, if you want a basic phone, going for the $25 plan, that's what you will get from Metro. All right, guys, so I've already taken out the phones that we're not going to be talking about today. Just the ones that they still have in stock or Metro is still selling. Uh, just to let you guys know, these are the lower end phones right here, which is from $19.99 for the ZTE, the Leon, the Core Prime, and the Wave. So starting off with these phones right here, if you honestly need a cheap phone, really cheap, something for Metro, just go with the ZTE FCD and that's the only reason you should get this phone, just because of the price. Otherwise, I would not uh, advise or vouch to get this phone at all. It's terrible. It's uh, ZTE, I'm sorry, it makes one of the worst phones. I've had, the reason I'm saying this, I'm not hating on ZTE, but every phone that's ever come into us to, or to Metro, you would get many problems and people returning them all the time. So putting that aside, you would then just go to the LG Leon, which is for $29.99. Problem with this phone though, it lags. It lags a lot and the memory for some reason always ends up going off quick. Another thing is, because it's so cheap, if you drop this even one time, the screen will just automatically crack. That's how cheaply they've made these phones. So it comes down to these two lower end phones, which is the KSR Wave and the Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. KSR Wave has is water resistant, five inch display, and uh, this is also 4.5. They have the same quad core 1.2 gigahertz on both phones. Uh, they're high quality cameras, five megapixels in the back, two megapixels in the front, same as the Galaxy Core Prime. Only difference so, so would be the screen size, five inch and a 4.5. Price wise, 39 and 49. And now don't quote me on these prices because as you know Metro it always takes off rebates, it, it raises the prices, increases and decreases at all times. So this today is October 17th, so whether the price goes down or up, don't quote me on that. So I'm gonna keep this for you guys to decide. Just try not to, try to stay away from the LG Leon or the ZTE Obsidian. All right. Now going on to the mid-range phones, we have the HTC Desire 626, the ZTE Z Max, the Galaxy Grand Prime, and the LG G Stylo. Just get something out the way. The ZTE Z Max, terrible, terrible reviews have been coming out from it. I mean, people have been returning this phone all the time, and it's been just terrible. And I've also heard that Metro is gonna actually stop. Uh, uh, selling these phones in a store. So let's put this out the way. HTC Desire. I know if you guys seen my review that I've done about this phone, I love this phone when it first came out and I was saying, hey, these guys, guys, this is gonna be one of the best phones. I was wrong. Uh, I thought HTC would have done a better job in their phones. Unfortunately, I think almost every week I get somebody returning this phone. It's, I, th I really think it's because the, the same thing with the ZTE, uh, Z Max. The reason people hate these phones is because you can't take out the battery. And if anything ha goes wrong with the, with the phone or the battery, usually it's not much you can do because it's unreplaceable. It has a big screen, um, has an 8 gigabyte you know, internal memory, 5 inch LCD, LCD display, but a good price as well. Just too many problems, HTC. You could have you could have fixed this uh, or made a better quality phone. So uh, fortunately, I'm gonna have to push this out. I don't recommend people getting that phone. Boils down to uh, the mid range of the LG G Style and the Galaxy Grand Prime. 
and I, I must say these two phones like the wave and the and the, the core are neck to neck these are really good phones but I must say that the winner would be the LG G Stylo. The reason I'm saying this is, although this has a better processor of 1.5 quad core uh, processor, it's the same. It's, it has a smaller screen. Uh, the LG G Stylo is uh, at 5.7. This is a 5 inch screen. Uh, the this has a 13 megapixel camera. Uh, this would have an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, the processor speed is at 1.2 quad core, and this is 1.5 quad core both LTE phones this has the, the 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 pen the stylo pen that you can use this does not so at the end of the day they're neck to neck but better quality this would be better this has more memory you're looking at 16 gigabyte internal memory 8 gigabyte internal memory so the winner would be this because if you look at it 149 129 this would be the winner way better quality phone LG wins and I mean this is that's it guys this is the video so mid-range phones LG G style wins good phone if you recommend I take my recommendation to get that and for the mid-range phones it would either be the core prime or the key Sarah whichever your budget can afford if new phones come out hopefully within the you know coming holidays I will definitely do a number four to be updated on it don't forget to subscribe if you guys like this video um, don't forget to like any questions you guys have about any of these phones or want to unlock these phones, I also unlock these phones so you can be used with other carriers or if you want to unlock phones to use with Metro, I also do that on my website, www.jgtechblog.com.